Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use writing tools on iPhone 16. So if you want to use the Apple Intelligence writing tools on your iPhone 16, let me show you how it is done. The first thing is open up your settings and you need to scroll down and click on general. Once you click on it, click on software update and you need to update your iPhone to iOS in 10.1. Once you have done that, go back to your main settings and click on Apple Intelligence and Siri. Once you click on it, make sure your Apple Intelligence is enabled. So, once you have done that, you can now open up any app of your choice. So, you can use it in any messaging app that you can use your keyboard. So, I'm just going to make use of my notes. So, now, just select the text that you want to adjust. So, once you select it, you are going to see this option at the top of your keyboard right here. This is the writing tools, but these are the shortcuts or these are some things that you can use with the writing tools another way to access it is by using this menu right here if it is not showing in this place you can also click on this front arrow and look for it so now let's select this writing tool so you are going to see this menu at the bottom so there are a lot of things you can do if there are some errors in your in your text you can just make use of this proofread to correct it so you can just click on it and again to check if there's any error and again to correct it as you can see there's no error, so it doesn't make any changes. So let's select it again. Let's select this writing tool. You can also rewrite it. So if you just don't like the way you write it, you can also make use of this rewrite to so rewrite it. As you can see, it's going to generate it and write another one. You can also click on rewrite to rewrite it again. And you can also select original to go back to the original. So let's click on rewrite and it's going to rewrite it. So you can go back to the former one or go back to the new one so it is very easy to use and very good so so as, as you can see there are other options as well you can make it to be friendly you can make your text to be to sound friendly you can make it professional concise this one is if the text is too much you can use this to reduce it and these are other things also so this summary key points and others is available only in notes so in this notes app if you try to use it in other apps like snapchat is not going to work so i'm going to copy this and let's paste it in our text box let's select it and as you can see it's now showing so i think it is working in snapchat but some apps is not going to show so that's it very easy and straightforward so if you found this video helpful smash the like button and subscribe